OK, so let's move on now to the US pre-market movers and chart levels. OK, well, uh, obviously we had an American uh, holiday yesterday, so not uh, much to report uh, in terms of pre-market movers. However, one or two have caught my eye. First of all, Arm Holdings listed here in London, but also with a listing in the US, and it's under uh, Arm H, the ticker there, $43.00. And eight cents, they're trading pre-market up 1.2%. Uh, and really, I think this is a continued follow-through from the news last week that uh, Arm will partner with IBM um, to set up uh, an, a, a sort of suite of services and analytics for the Internet of Things, which is right. if you're familiar with the concept. It's the idea that you know everyday devices in our homes and elsewhere will, will be connected to the Internet and become intelligent in their own right. And this is seen as an area of uh, uh, of potential growth right. for both businesses. Okay. And then staying with the technology theme, uh, BlackBerry, ticker BBRY in the US, um, you know, either love this one or hate it, had a, had a trouble two or three years, $7.40 pre market up 1.65%. Again, continued gains uh, on the news that BlackBerry will buy rivals good technology for $425 million and focus on mobile software security. So it's really a, a change of tack for BlackBerry, again, moving away from the handset business and hoping to go back to focus on what it does best, which is delivering messages securely and uh, quickly, and it hopes that the, that purchase will, will allow it to, to grow that side of the business and, and compete with the likes of Citrix Systems. Um, and then in terms of levels to watch today uh, in the indices, in Europe, uh, markets uh, are better. As we said, the DAX is sharply better, FTSE, you know, holding its own. 6,080 and 6,200, though, remains our range. We haven't been able to break outside of that uh, uh, since Friday. So. Um, We'll see if that the stays the same today. Yep. And in terms of the DAX, 10,240 now to the downside, plays 10,390 to the upside. We're going to come on to the DAX yeah, on the last slide. S&P. Uh, 1911 plays uh, 1940, so uh, you know, Friday's market was easier, and so we've moved their levels down here. And the same in the Dow, 16,100 plays 16,280. Still quite wide ranges, but the volatility you know, is, is still around, so it's hard to pick uh, tighter levels than that. Yep. And then currency-wise, um, euro dollar, uh, just a slight tightening here. So we're now 111.14 on the downside for euro dollar, plays 111.80 to the upside. Um, in terms of the Aussie dollar, finally have broken and stayed below uh, the 70, 70 handle. Yep. So uh, 69.45 uh, comes into the downside now. 69.90, which was uh, a support level last week, now uh, switches round to resistance. And in terms of dollar yen, um, 119.20 plays 120.20. Um, the, the yen has weakened after the poor um, Japanese GDP Numbers, data yep. this morning. And then cable, um, I'm not sure if this says more about the absence of, uh, of US trading yesterday, but we have bounced off the bottom. So 153.60 to the downside, plays 154.08 to the upside. So cable making some ground up again. Okay.